Then Obama United Nations Ambassador Susan Rice claiming on five Sunday morning talk shows that the Benghazi attacks were sparked by anti-Muslim YouTube videos. Now Netflix is announcing it's appointing her to its board of directors, which has social media crying foul. One saying, wow, Susan Rice has joined the board of Netflix. Just in time for Obama's new show. Got a place for Soros in there. NRA's Dana Lash saying the perfect place for a former staffer who blamed a terror attack on a poorly made short film released long before said attack took place. Tom Fitton of Judicial Watch saying Netflix doubling down in support of Obama corruption. Compromised Susan Rice, who lied repeatedly on both Benghazi and the unmasking issue, joins its board of directors. Netflix closing today in the green. My next guest survived the Benghazi terrorist attack and was featured in the movie 13 Hours, Mark Geist. Mark, welcome to the show. Uh, happy Easter to you. Uh, what do you think about this social media reaction? You look at her integrity. I think it was, uh, I was reading uh, the CEO, uh, Reed Hastings, said that he was looking forward to having her for her intelligence, integrity, and ability to deal with complex issues. Um, if we look back at Benghazi, there wasn't much intelligence put into there. The integrity for lying to the American people and the complex issue was handled just uh, haphazardly and very badly, I guess, is the best way to say it. Mark, you survived this uh, terror attack. When you got back, and, and, or you saw that this was all being blamed on this anti-Muslim video that was on YouTube, did you feel betrayed by the fact that you were misled? Or that the, the American people were being misled? You obviously knew the truth, right, sir? Yeah, that, you know, I was in the hospital in uh, Germany, still recovering. I think I was on my second or third operation, recovering from some of the injuries I received there and listening to the media, especially Susan Rice and the rhetoric that was getting pushed out, that it was a uh, spontaneous uh, protest. I mean, you know, I had two friends die right beside me, Tyrone Woods and uh, Glenn Doherty. And for them to go ahead and lie about it, it just, you know, puts a bad taste in your mouth about what they're really doing and why they would do that. Uh, Mark, uh, switching to a, a slightly different topic, uh, Justice Department Inspector General announcing he will review potential Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, abuses by both the Justice Department and, and the FBI. This following request from Congress and Attorney General Jeff Sessions, the judge weighing in on it earlier. Inspector General has certain limitations. He can't indict, he can't charge, he can't threaten to indict, and he can only interrogate people or obtain documents or information from people who are current employees of the Justice Department. FISA has been turned on its head. It was written to prevent spying on Americans. It's now used to facilitate spying on Americans. That court delivers 99.9% .9 of all requested search warrants. There isn't a court in the country that has a number that high. And this just in, Attorney General Jeff Sessions revealing in a letter, John Huber, the U.S. Attorney for Utah, is the federal prosecutor quietly looking at accusations against the FBI, and Sessions saying he is refraining from appointing a special second counsel for now. Mark, you were, were there. You, you, you lost, tragically, a, a couple of friends. We've had 21 special investigations since the Carter administration, only twice has the principal being investigated actually been found guilty of something? It just seems like it's a waste of time. All the Benghazi talk seemed like it was a waste of time. Nothing gets done because it just becomes political. Do you, are you losing faith in our country because of this? Well, I'm not losing faith in our country because the country is made up of the people between the, you know, between the two shores. And uh, I think they're getting stronger and wanting to be more involved in what's going on by the people that are elected. It's the faith in the judicial system. It's, a, it's the faith in our government um, elected officials who seem to be more there for the purpose of themselves than for serving the people. And I think that's the same with FICE. I mean, the rank and file at the FBI, I've worked with them. I know them. They're great people. But it's the leadership that is having the problem. Yeah, and it's, and it's our elected officials. There's a reason they have basically a single-digit uh, approval rating uh, right now. But you're right. The strength of America is its people, people like you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us, Mark. Have a wonderful Easter. Thank you so much. God bless.